In this video, we're going to cover free energy. Gibbs free energy is defined as the energy available to do work in a chemical reaction. And again, this definition, we don't use too often the MCAT. On the MCAT, we usually care about the Gibbs free energy change, which can be calculated by this equation. The change of free energy is equal to the enthalpy change minus the product of temperature times entropy change. And the reason why free energy change is important is because it tells us about the spontaneity of the reaction. That the value you can calculate can either be positive, zero, or negative. If delta G is positive, then our reaction is non-spontaneous. Which means that as is, our reaction is not going to proceed in the forward direction. If delta G is zero, that means our reaction is at equilibrium. And if delta G is negative, that means our reaction is spontaneous. So it will spontaneously proceed in the forward direction. Okay, now with different variables in this equation, there are certain situations where a reaction will be spontaneous and others where a reaction will be non-spontaneous. And there are other reactions that are always spontaneous and others that are always non-spontaneous. We can see how this works with this table right here, where we'll look at different combinations of enthalpy and entropy change. So for instance, let's say we start off with reactions whose enthalpy change is negative and entropy change is positive. In this case, since the enthalpy change is negative and you are subtracting a positive value, then the Gibbs free energy change is always going to be negative and in these situations, our reaction is spontaneous at all temperatures. So now we can consider the opposite. So if we have a reaction that is endothermic and the entropy change is negative, then you have a positive value and you're subtracting a negative value. That's double negative, which is addition. So that will always give you a positive Gibbs free energy change, meaning this reaction is non-spontaneous at all temperatures. Okay, so now we can consider more complicated situations. So let's say we have a reaction where the enthalpy change and the entropy change are both negative. In this case, the enthalpy change, this is a negative value, and we are subtracting a negative value. So this temperature entropy term is positive, and this is where it gets tricky. The enthalpy term is negative, the entropy term is positive. Whether or not your reaction is spontaneous then depends on which term is larger. Is the negative enthalpy term larger or is the positive entropy term larger? And as it turns out, this depends on the temperature because at low temperatures, the entropy term is small. At high temperatures, the entropy term is large. And here, if we want our reaction to be spontaneous, then we want low temperatures so the enthalpy term is larger than the entropy term. So here, the Gibbs free energy actually depends and it's going to be spontaneous at low temperatures and non-spontaneous at high temperatures. Okay, so finally we can consider the last situation. In the last situation we have a reaction where the enthalpy change and the entropy change are both positive. In this case, Enthalpy change is a positive term, you're subtracting a positive term. So this entropy change is a negative term. Again, you have a, both a positive term and a negative term. So the Gibbs free energy change is going to depend on temperature. 
In this case, at low temperatures, the negative entropy term is small, so the reaction will be endergonic because the enthalpy term is positive. So here, our reaction is non-spontaneous at low temperatures. And spontaneous at high temperatures. You'll also note in this uh, last example, I introduced a new term, endergonic. Endergonic is to refer to a reaction whose free energy change is positive. And the opposite is exergonic. So exergonic reactions are spontaneous because they have a free energy change that is negative. All right. So now that we've gone through these different situations, let's take a look at an example. We want to know under what conditions is the following combustion reaction spontaneous. And here we have some hydrocarbon plus oxygen gives us carbon dioxide and water. And since it's combustion, we know the enthalpy chain is negative. So to know when our reaction is going to be spontaneous, well, we know enthalpy change is negative. We just need to know what the entropy change is. And in this case, if you look at the compounds, you can see on the reactant side, you have nonane, which is a liquid, oxygen, which is a gas, and carbon dioxide and water are both gases. Now, first of all, gases have greater entropy than liquids, so the right side should probably be indicating greater entropy. And second, the left side has 15 molecules, the right side has 19 molecules more molecules, it's also greater entropy. So that means during this reaction, the entropy is increasing. And now, if enthalpy change is negative and entropy change is positive, that means delta G is always negative. So our reaction is spontaneous at all temperatures. All right. And that's what you need to know of Gibbs free energy for MCAT.